Hi everyone, oh my gosh was it pouring down on us today. So freaking rainy all morning all night But I was set going to lunch to this one place in Shibuya and I'm glad I did it was great Besides the fact that I was expecting the rice to be white, but it was actually brown rice a little too healthy for my liking But still <laughs> I experienced the shakes again in the subway when it was stopped and I realized it was just people getting on the subway I feel stupid. Okay. I get it. It's not an earthquake. Just shut up. Okay. Okay there is officially a pattern to the music that I was hearing playing at random times, or at least I thought it was at random times, but it turns out it's exactly 5 p.m. every day. And essentially, it's a little like children's melody. This tune plays to test that all the speakers work properly in case there is a disaster and you need something to go through the speakers that's actually like an emergency announcement. It is pretty interesting. It's quite short as well, it doesn't go on for too long, it's literally like not even a minute long. Just enough to be like, oh okay, the speakers work just fine. So the next day was probably the worst and best day I've had, to be honest, because I didn't know whether I should be crying tears of joy or sadness. My internet suddenly stopped working and I felt trapped, like trapped. I was like, how am I gonna get home? I traveled an hour to get to Sensoji finally. It was the perfect day. Everything was so, so nice. It actually isn't as busy or like if you come at 11, it's a really good time. There's people, but not too many people and you can easily line up for things and get food, get souvenirs, buy whatever you want. People aren't really getting that much in your way, I find. But anyway, I was stubborn. So I went to my destination, this cafe, which I've been dying to try. Oh my gosh. And there was no one here practically. And I, I sat down comfortably matcha tiramisu it was phenomenal but i was also having like a mental breakdown trying to figure out how to get my internet to finally work and i did end up getting it to work quickly finished my matcha tiramisu and my drink and got out of there I headed to the main sensoji temple you can also see tokyo sky tree pretty much from anywhere on the way like the main street for sensoji temple the street is filled with all kinds of really cute and original non like touristy weird souvenirs i highly recommend that you check them out i think they're so so freaking cute none of that like hat or t-shirt shit like you see those kind of shops as well but most of the stores here had i thought really meaningful souvenirs that are very very appropriate anyway i was heading on a side street for this one dango place that i had seen online and put it up against the you know like the sensuji temple it was kind of like the vibe took my photo and finally headed to it here she is with the blooming trees and the crowd and all her glory she looked incredible honestly it looks like there's so so many people but I'm telling you, it's really not that bad. Also, the pagoda was just iconic, so pretty. People cleansing themselves with the water and the smoke as well. I got some omomori, of course, but they sent me for the stamps a little bit in like the western section. And let me tell you, I was having trouble trying to find like where I get the stamps. <laughs> you will see me film Tokyo Skytree from every possible angle. You, I haven't even started yet, don't worry. Next stop was this matcha creperie that I really wanted to try. It was between two, but I chose this one because it looked a little fancier. I was number seven, yeah. Here it is, just the cone that it came in alone was so freaking cute. But the flavor was very strange, like there was some salty biscuits biscuits inside, a matcha ice cream, I think like an umeboshi as well. I don't know what was going on with this crap. You see a lot of people dressed in kimonos. I didn't book a place, it was a little too late. Instead, I took a photo with like these two really, really cute, nice girls. Look at us! And here's a place where you can fish. I doubled as a translator here between this French guy and the shopkeeper. She thanked me so much later because this dude was not even making any sense to me, let alone to her. It's the headbands, y'all, the headbands. <laughs> this alley with all these gift shops was an absolute absolute godsend i bought so many things here oh my gosh like if you recognize this if you're in asakusa go here finally i found the stamp station and actually they hand write it in your little notebook like the stamp book and they give you a number and then call it out when it's finished i met this girl here who was also waiting for hers and look at it it's so beautiful so my internet at this time broke again but then I managed to fix it again. So I made my way to Skytree because Skytree is actually a 20 minute walk. And there are a bunch of like these little parks. And I tried to get the perfect shot, but there was always something in the way between the soccer trees and the Skytree. I didn't like it looking too empty. I wanted some trees, some leaves in there, you know? I don't know what this video is, but hello, it's me.
and just when I thought I got, oh my God, like the perfect shot, yes. What is this lamppost? Get out of my shot. Like, oh, what? <laughs> I got to Skytree, I wasn't gonna go up it, but I knew that there was this anime store inside, so I had to peep that, of course. Did not disappoint, did not disappoint. I have a weakness for these hand towels because they're such smart merchandising. Like, if you know, you know. It's not super obvious merch, which I really love. But like, where am I gonna use it, you know? And then I saw these Sailor Moon ones and I was like, I'm sold. And then later, I went to the Asahi building and I wanted to get some beer there. This golden thing that you see is not a horn. It's supposed to be a flame, but it's also called the golden poop. Notice how the building also looks like a pint of beer. So we're going on the 21st floor and taking an escalator to the 22nd. That's where you get the view. You get the beer, you get the view. Uh, there was actually quite a bit of people here. I thought this was like an unknown spot low-key, but I guess people have definitely found out about it at this point, so I had to wait. You put your name down, you sit down on a chair, and you wait. It's not super long. You just gotta be patient with it. If you're a lot of people, though, you're gonna wait a long time, so take that into consideration. The view's magnificent, of course. And look at the train, we saw that too. I was feeling Indian today, so I went to like a local restaurant, it was great. And then I felt inspired to actually go see the Tokyo Metropolitan Building and the night sky, finally, from above. They have views today. What I wasn't expecting is the amount of people that were actually lining up to this to go this late. Here we are, so many red flickering lights everywhere. It's a gorgeous view. I kind of wish like the, the dome above my head, do you see that? I don't know, I feel like that's poor architecture. Like knowing that people are gonna be taking photos of the scenery, the light choice is just not the best. It's not the greatest. Also from February, there's a permanent light show on the building itself from 7 p.m. You can actually see it from here, but I'm gonna go down later and we can watch it together. I believe it's every half hour. Bro, the line to get down from here though was so freaking long. There's only two elevators. <laughs> 